This gallery is titled Americana Progressive Forms. In here, we look at artists from South America and North America who are dealing with the legacy of constructivism, a Russian movement from the early part of the 20th century. But here, artists from the 50s and 60s are exploring reduced geometric forms, a lot of simple square and grid shapes. And that's a form related to mathematics, to industrial production, to urban space. And this gallery is mixing artists from South America with artists from North America. Several of the North American artists included in this section were involved in the movement Minimalism, and they were interested in using very simplified forms, often engaging industrial materials such as metal or acrylics. And we're mixing those artists with artists from South America who are also exploring geometric forms, reduced abstraction in relationship to questions of urban development and modernization. This is a wonderful work by the Venezuelan artist Gago. It is from her Reticularia series from 1969 and 1970. She's weaving together pieces of thick metal wire in these triangular shapes that create this long sculpture that hangs from the ceiling. She's playing with traditional notions of sculpture of form and volume, but here creating sculpture through the use of line. And her works often play in unusual ways with the spaces in which they're placed. Often the shadows on the wall become a part of the work, and they create an interesting dialogue with the body of the viewer. She's an artist working in the 60s and 70s in a period of tremendous urban growth in Caracas, in Venezuela. And a lot of her work sort of reflects that dynamism of the post-war moment in Venezuela. This work by Donald Judd is very typical of his work as he's using oxidized metal, metal that in this case has this beautiful patina of color. He's an artist who began to move away from painting in the 60s into three-dimensional form, and particularly reduced forms, these very horizontal and box-like shapes produced in aluminum. He's an artist very interested in the elegance of proportion and mathematics. This piece is based on the Fibonacci sequence, which is a mathematical sequence. Each element is doubled, so on this piece it starts with a small piece, and then that size is doubled, and then it, that size is doubled and it increases. And in this piece you can see, on the bottom part of the piece, these, these rectangular shapes following that sequence in their proportion. This is quite an unusual piece in his body of work for its dynamic use of color. We often think of his work as more silver or reduced colors, but here he's really playing between this dynamic gold oxidized aluminum on the top with a purple-blue opalesque treatment on the bottom. It's a really beautiful piece within his body of work. So this is a sculpture by the New York-based artist Julia Dalt. This is a piece that we commissioned for the museum. And here she's taking industrial materials, several different types of uh, metallic formica plastic sheets, industrial produced materials, that she's then tying and twisting and wrestling with and then attaching them to the wall in a very precarious manner. Her work very much dialogues with a previous generation of artists working in minimalism, working with also with metallic materials and in industrial produced materials. But here, she's interested in creating a sculpture that feels quite precarious, unstable, insecure. And her way of making it is almost like a performance. She's dancing with the materials, wrestling with the materials, and then letting them find their shape and really creating a piece that is sculptural on this side, it has a, a lot of volume on the front, and then on the side it looks more like a drawing or like a series of curving lines. It really creates a dynamic and unusual work. 
So we're combining these different tendencies within art production of these decades and placing them in dialogue to talk about across North and South America, this interest in the grid, reduced form, and industrial production and urbanization.